Okay, um, hi everyone. Welcome to this tutorial. Um, I'm supposed to explain the brief exercise number 11. Um, so the exercise said stockholders equity section of Flynn Corporation balance sheet consists of common stock $9 par one million two hundred sixty thousand dollars and retained earnings of four thousand six four hundred sixty thousand dollars also a 15 percent stock dividend that is total of twenty one thousand shares and it's declared when the market price per share is fifteen dollars okay first show the before and after effect of dividend on the common stock Holders equity. Okay. So first, um, we have the left section before dividend and at the right section after dividend. Then we need to write the the account title. Well, first we write stockholders equity, then paying capital and common stock. Before dividend, we will write the the value we have of one million two hundred sixty thousand dollars is right here. We are provided with that information. In this case, paid in capital in excess is zero, so we write down zero. Then we need to for now in total paid in capital, we made an addition of common stock plus paid in capital in excess. In this case, is the same. You can see here. Then the retained earnings we will also provide with this information four hundred sixty thousand dollars. We write down the value, and then we made a sum. We add that value of retained earnings to total paying capital, and we have the result of total stockholders' equity. Okay. That is how we solve for before dividend. And for solving after dividend, we have here it says that a 15% stock dividend was declared. So we multiply the common stock times one, that is like we sum the, the 15%. One, 0.15 get the 50 percent and then we have one million four hundred forty nine thousand dollars okay then um, for knowing the paid in capital in excess we need to to make a subtraction of the total of shares Declare in this case is 21,000 shares times the $15 that was market price market price per share minus uh, the same amount of share shares times nine dollars the, the par value. And then we have result uh, $126,000. Then we sum those values. The paying capital in excess, excess um, plus common stock. And then we have, as you can see, the, the result: one million five hundred seventy-five dollars, seventy-five thousand dollars. Yeah. And the retained earnings, as we know. Total stockholders equity doesn't change, so we can simply make a subtraction of the total stockholders equity minus total paid in capital. Then we will have the change earning. Okay, so this part was this part of the exercise was somehow easy, but I was struggling 
the second part of the exercise in OI. So we showed you before and after effects of the dividend on the share outstanding. Okay. Um, really, I didn't realize how to solve this. I tried to to find this for making sense. Um, I solve like this, but I don't know why. While the plus and it is wrong. Maybe, maybe this part is wrong. And um, so, if you know the how to solve the outstanding shares, I would really appreciate you to explain it through through comments in in the post. Okay. Uh, well, so what I did was uh, make a multiply the number of shares time the the par value and after dividend the market price something like I did for for finding the for finding the the pin capital excess success okay so maybe those standard shares are wrong so I would really appreciate if you can help me with with this part of the with the part B of the exercise. So thanks.